Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hello. Live at Five. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, TGIF. TGIF. It's March 9th. I'm Beth Stevens. And I'm Ryan Lee Gilbert. And we're here in the studio with producer Matt Roden. That's me. Hi, everybody. And we have a really great Friday we guest. Have such a great guest. You guys, Glinda's here. Yes. Amanda Jane Cooper Woo-hoo. from Woo-hoo. Wicked. What show? Wicked. <laughs> Who's here <No>. that? Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited, but first, uh, we've got some, some stuff going on. Tell us, Matt. Okay, so uh, the prom officially has a theater. Ryan. Yes, so we, we've we been excited about this prom coming so to Broadway. We, yeah, the, I'm so the The cast is unbelievable. Beth Level, Brooks, Brooks Ashmanskis, Christopher Sieber, Isabel McCalla, the the best cast. So Angie now Schwer. we know. Yes, now we know where it's going. It's going to the Court Theater, and we knew it was opening on November fifteenth. But we also know now that it will begin previews on October twenty first. I cannot wait for the prom. A Casey Nicholas special. A Casey Nicholas special. Broadway stars crash a little prom in a small Indiana town, and. You know, chaos and blow it up suits. in a good I way. Can't in a good freaking way. Um, we're getting a new phantom, Beth. Who's our new phantom? Our new phantom. Are you so excited? Our I new phantom say. is Ben Crawford. Isn't he a delicious little dumpling? A He's big dumpling. He's a big, big guy. Dumpling. He's a big <laughs> dumpling. A big voice. The <laughs> He's best voice. He's beginning on April sixteenth. I just want to say I interviewed him in two thousand nine, and he was a fresh face back then. Look at that. He's also been in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Big Fish and on the Twentieth Century, and he is replacing current leading man Peter Joback, mm-hmm. and who is going to uh, have his final performance on March 31st, right. and longtime phantom player Laird McIntosh will fill in in the interim. So, and then Ben. And then Ben. Slipping into that mask. Yeah. I'm Can't excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. The national tour of King and I is also getting a new lead, Anna. Ryan. Yes, we have a new Anna Leon Owens and um, Laura I'm Michelle Kelly. I'm impressed how you said that. Thank you. Yeah. Just rolls right off the tongue. <laughs> Laura Michelle Kelly is exiting the musical, and Elena Shadow, Broadway alum who's done amazing shows on Broadway, La Cage of Faux, The Visit, The Bridges of Madison County, The Woman in White, Fiddler, Nine, Sweet Smell of Success, Les Mis Rob. She is stepping into the show on March 20th, the first day of spring. Oh, how appropriate. Look at you. Yeah. And when the show stops in Tempe, Arizona. So uh, a lot of the other cast is sticking around. Jose Lana is staying on mm-hmm. as the king. But they got they got a new a new Anna going in. The tour's so. in good hands with it's that cast. It's in great hands, yeah. it is. Reasons and to be pretty, which was supposed to go up at MCC, is now now has a replacement show. Tell us about that, Beth. Well, uh, this was a little bit curious. MCC severed their relationship with playwright Neil Labute, and they also canceled Reasons to be Pretty. Mm-hmm. But now we know what they're doing. They're doing a play called, ready? Collective Rage. I love that. Day. A play in five Bettys. This is by Jen Silverman, who wrote The Moors, and it's directed yes. by Mike Donahue. It's at the Lucille Lortel <laughs> Theater, starting in August. August 16th and opening on September 12th. And I'm just going to read what this is because it sounds kind mm-hmm. of amazing. A play in five Betty centers on five different women named Betty. Get that? Get it? Yeah. One rich, one lonely, <laughs> one charismatic, one lovelorn, and one who keeps working on her truck. Curious I'm already or? obsessed. I'm like, right, I'm like let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them has decided to stage a production of that play within a play. I can't Curious wait. and fascinating. Yep. Yeah. I'm a, I'm and last it. but not least, we have a brand new culturalist. Tell us about it, Ryan. Yes, today, today is the day, 10 years since In the Heights opened on Broadway. So we are celebrating Lynn manuel Miranda. We mm-hmm. want you to rank your top 10 favorite songs of his ever from any from show. From any show. So both, or movie. Both, show, movies, Moana, anything mm-hmm. you want, rank those top 10. Do you have a number one in mind? Do you know? I, it's so, it's so hard. hard. But I mean, we all love the Hamilton. Yeah. Dear so Theodosia many is the one that I, I think oh, I just I love 96,000 from In the yes. Heights. Yes. And Champagne from In the Heights. There are so many great yeah. ones. But now you get to go pick. So. Blackout. Blackout. <laughs> That's yeah. Thank like. you. Yes. That's all, really so like. many great ones. I was like, what's going on? It's great. And Lin-Manuel has shared this culture list on Twitter. He liked I it too. I want him to rank yeah, his. Yeah, rank your top 10. Come Lynn, on, LMM. Please. But uh, but that's it. I'm going to go rank my top 10 right now. Bye, Ryan. While you sit here and chat with Amanda. Matt, tell us a little bit about Amanda Jane Cooper. I would love to. Amanda starred as Glinda in the national tour of Wicked for most of 2011, floating by bubble across the country, and even performing for First Lady Michelle Obama during the show's 10-week run at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. Yes. 
After some time in TV jobs in LA, Amanda reprised her role as Glinda in the national tour of Wicked, visiting over 20 cities for 500 performances for over 1 million people. And then on July 31st, 2017, she made her Broadway debut, starring as Galinda in Wicked, and currently she's there. You can find her bubbling up with the Gershwin. If you have questions for Amanda, you should leave them in the comment section below right now, and we'll get to as many as we possibly can. But right now, here is Beth and Amanda Jane Cooper. Hello, Miss Cooper. <laughs> Hello, Beth. Hi, everybody. It's great to have you here. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm so good. I'm so happy to be here, especially with your a little bit galindified set. I'm just saying. Right. So we... We're, I know you think we customized it for you. I'm going to let you think that. Okay. It's never pink and blue. It's never. <laughs> never. But it, 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 it's bringing out your eyes. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So how's life in Oz? Uh, life in Oz is thrillifying, <laughs> swankified. Uh, it's wonderful. It's such a gift. Uh, I can't say enough about the fabulous company over at the Gershwin. And, um, and it's just a ball. It's a dream come true. Tell me what it felt like when you, st I know you play, you play Glinda a lot. Sure. But when you played it on Broadway for the first time, what did that feel like? Beth, I was shaking like a leaf. I was so nervous. I was like, Amanda, okay, it's all right. Like, you've, you've been done here before. You, right, you've been in Oz mm -hmm. and you know, you've done this. Uh, and you knew Quite Jackie Burns. Right, and Jackie, yeah, fun fact, Jackie, Jackie Burns, who is incredible, was my first ever Alphaba back in 2011 on tour. So. Having but you were still nervous, but I was still so nervous. I was shaking like a leaf. But uh, but that debut night was really really fun because there were six of us. Was it six? I think six of us going into the show all at once. Oh wow! So it was a, it was like a team a team night. It was really really special, and my family was there, and uh, I couldn't have asked for a more special so night. I know you've told the story before, but I think that the wider Broadway.com listeners <laughs> need to know yes. about how you met Stephen Schwartz. Oh. Okay, so uh, I, I love him so much. He's just incredible. Uh, I went to Carnegie Mellon University for college. And, uh, and so did he. And so did he, yes. Not at the same time. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but That's he shocking. Right? Yes. Uh, but he did come back to do sort of like a master class mentorship uh, uh, session with us. And I think when I was 19, I think it was my sophomore year, uh, I sang popular for him. That takes some guts. Really does. I was a little nervous, <laughs> but uh, it was really fun, and uh, and we ended up staying connected. And he said some really nice things about perhaps playing Miss Galinda one day, and um, so. It, it, the story is actually kind of funny because he was like, "Hey, you know, I want you to send your materials to uh, Telsey, which is the casting the casting director office, for the show, right? Who, yes." Uh, so I was a really big nerd, and I got my headshot and like put you made a cover. Did it. I actually did it, but I put my cover letter on pink paper oh. with like <laughs> glitter and hearts and stars, <laughs> and was like, <laughs> I was like, "Hi, Stephen Schwartz uh, told me to send you this." It's, it's this, like you auditioned by Bubble. Honestly, exactly, <laughs> through the mail or something. I don't know. But here you are. Oh, I'm so grateful. All right. I want to say some words to you, oh. and I just want you to react and tell me what they mean to you. Oh, my. Okay. okay. I like okay. Steamboat Sal. A talented and lovely mm -hmm. gal. Okay, tell us about Steamboatin'. Okay, y'all. I was like the world's shyest child. Like This is hard to believe. <laughs> is it? Because you're very bubbly. Uh, <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, but as a kid, I was like so shy, just hiding behind my mom's legs like at the grocery store. Just like so shy. Wouldn't talk. Uh, but there was an opportunity to do a f our fifth grade musical, and uh, it was it was called Steamboatin'. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and one of the leads was Steamboat Sal, a talented and lovely gal. You had to sing this kind of little jazz tune. And my mother, my sweet mom, she like saw something in me from like a really young age. And she was like, Manda, I think you can do it. And she really Aww. gave me the courage to go out there and do a little jazz riff. <laughs> and uh, my music teacher, Mrs. Messner, was like, okay, Steamboat Sal, who are you? Here you go. Here's the role. And all the teachers were like, you can't do that. She doesn't even talk. But that's how my but theater you journey had a began. Voice. And we then, knew you had a voice. Right? I well, I guess it was in there somewhere. Somewhere rattling around. Yeah. All right. I know that all of you guys have so many questions, but before you do, yeah. I want to ask you about a secret. <gasps> what? Where do you keep your little pastille <sighs> before you sing popular? Just tell the people. Okay, I'm sorry. Ashley Parker Angel tried to out me with this little fun fact. <laughs> um, but you, you know, upset about that. No, I'm just. 
my little secret. So you secret. do keep a little something on you. I do keep. Uh, I do keep a pastille, a Grether's pastille, so you, by that's the way. like the hydrating. Yeah, thing. and mm -hmm. it has a little, it's called a, it's a black, I think it's black currant is the flavor, oh. so it's a little sour, so it keeps your mouth kind of moist, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm open to a sponsorship, clearly. Uh, <laughs> no, but I, but I like to keep one kind of tucked away. Uh, uh, close, close to the breast. Close to my chest. Close to uh, your chest. But, you know, there's like moments where you have to be strategic about where you can sort of uh, use use that to so I, I do it I do there's a moment I'm before popular that I that I that I do you get it. ready mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's an mm -hmm. important number mm -hmm. yeah very important got to be hydrated I know you all have questions I'm sure those were not your questions so let's find out what they were <laughs> Matt okie dokie <laughs> Hannah hey. wants to know what inspires you most about Glinda's journey Ooh, oh that's a good Hannah, one that's such a good one because her because Glinda's journey is so it's so Ooh. developed so it's so yeah. It's, it's so you're developed. Getting excited, yeah. I'm getting so excited. Uh, yeah, what's been so special about playing Glinda throughout the past? Oh gosh, what is it now? Seven, in different times in my life throughout the past seven years is, um, I've really grown as a person, as Amanda, and um, been on a very similar journey to uh, as Glinda, where she becomes more self-aware. She stands more um, in her identity as a woman, she understands what is worth fighting for, what mm -hmm. is right. And so I've been on a really similar journey um, in my own life. And so it's really thrilling to be able to use every part of my physical being, uh, emotional, vocal uh, self to, to bring to her every night. It's a, it's a real honor. And you get to work later. Um, as, as, a, as a piggyback <laughs> to that question, yeah. Justine wants to know, what do you do for self-care? How do you oh. keep a work-life balance? Oh, that's a good question, That's too. a good question, yes. Um, I always, people, when people ask me this, I'm always like, it's three things, discipline, grace, and Jesus. Um, <laughs> my, the discipline part comes in where I get a lot of sleep. Uh, I like to get, now don't judge this, you guys, but I do like to get 10 hours a night. What? I know, I'm that's like a, a thing people can do? Yeah. You mean over three days? Jackie Burns <laughs> always teases me about it because she's like, you're a toddler. I'm like, I know, I just, <laughs> do toddlers sleep? I don't know, but I love sleep. What time do you go to, well, I guess it's late. It's sleep in. sort of late, but yeah. Yeah, yes. I, I say it's my artist schedule, okay? Okay. Um, yeah, but I get a lot of sleep. I do. I steam uh, my voice after the show every single night. And after the show? I do. I've I've learned to, for me, that's uh, the most helpful. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I stay away from really spicy foods. Um, I don't drink. Um, I make sure that I'm not really speaking too loud in restaurants or Clean things living, like that. people. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Got to do it. But it's so worth it. It's a privilege to be able to do it. Um, what did it get up? Bow, bow. Lots of questions oh, wow. here. Hey. Sarah wants to know, what advice would you give to someone who wants to pursue a career in theater? Oh, super cool. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for the get question. Get some glitter and stars and pink paper. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> send, your, send your letter and your headshot <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, well, I think that everybody's journey is so different, and that's a beautiful thing. And so I would say... Com uh, one thing that I've learned over the years is comparison really is a thief of joy. Mm -hmm. So as you're on your journey, do not compare. You do you. Uh, you work hard. You have integrity. Be kind to everyone. Not just because like they could get you somewhere, but like because that's that's because the it's nice. It makes it a better experience. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Have fun. Um, you know, I really believe that everyone is given a gift um, in order to help others. So in whatever way that you can do that in in theater or whatever your career choice is. Go for it. <laughs> and you're one of those people, because we did a character study with you, yes. that oh. really goes to other people's dressing rooms and ha wishes them a good show and really oh. builds a community within your cast. Tell me about why you do that or how you started doing that. Yeah, I love it. I mean, we're a team out there. We, that's true. That's, I mean, th those are your people. And um, it's really, really, it's a special moment over at the Gershwin. I feel like it's a little bit of lightning in a bottle right now um, where we are just such teammates on stage but also off. And we're all friends with each other. And it's so fun. And I just want to take a moment to do a little shout out to my amazing alphabet, Jackie Burns. She's the best. She is truly the best. I honestly might cry. She's like, so fun. She's so fun and she's so grounded and generous and she just has this amazing emotional capacity she's a tour de force oh she just she elevates keeps the game it fresh and she does she ever fresh. really throw you does she ever throw you off a little by doing oh that? gosh i think we both kind of like have a little <laughs> tennis match every night so yeah but some yeah absolutely but it's the best because it's alive it's it's visceral it's just it's present and so um i'm just 
really, really grateful for her, as well as our entire company. We have a fabulous uh, fabulous group right now. It's a good group at the Gershwin. Yeah. Speaking of Alphaba, George wants to know how many Alphabas have you had, and can you name them all? Okay. Oh, oh George, Guys, come on. Here we go. My first Alphaba was Jackie Burns. Yes. I also, fun fact, worked with Marianne Torres, who's the Alphaba standby right now at the Gershwin. Oh. She was the Alphaba standby on tour at the same time. Deja vu. Deja vu. Okay, so Marianne. Uh, Carla Stickler, D. Rossioli, Mamie Paris, Emily Cook, Jessica Vosk, M.K. Morrissey, Emily Schulteis, Kennedy Coggle. Oh my gosh, if I'm forgetting any of these oh, yeah. ladies, I'm going to feel so I'm very bad. impressed. <laughs> you went into a different realm just now. Absolutely, with my green <laughs> girls. Um, and oh have gosh. you met other Glindas? I know you've met Megan Hilty. Yes, I've met Megan. She's so lovely. We, she's another Carnegie Mellon um, oh, yeah, yeah. alum. And so she actually was my big sister when I graduated. Like they paired Aww. us up with people who had graduated before. And so she was really, really amazing and sweet to me. Um, Katie Rose Clark. Such a sweetheart. Chandra Lee Schwartz. Of course, Carol Lindsay. Yes. Of course. And Carrie St. Louis. All, you know, a bunch of three namers <laughs> there. <laughs> so... Um, speaking of other Galindas, Amanda, yeah. yes. Kelsey wants to know, who of your predecessors as Galinda, who would you, would you most like to work with? Ooh. Who, wait, sorry, well, one more time. Any so Glinda, any who Glinda. would you like to work with? <gasps> Not Ooh, in Wicked, you can't vote Glinda. Just one. Guys, that's so hard. That's so hard. I, I will tell you this, I feel like... I feel like uh, Annalie Ashford had a big impact on me. I saw her in the show, I think when, I forget where I saw her, but You've I saw seen her. the show, before you went in, you saw the yes. show a few times, didn't you? Yeah, I saw the original cast mm -hmm. twice, which was amazing. amazing. Yeah, I'm from just outside Philadelphia, so our high school group came up uh, on a bus, saw the original <laughs> cast, it was so amazing. Um, but yeah, Annalie Ashford, I just think there's something so fearless and courageous and bold about her that really inspires me as an actor, so I would love to, uh, to get to do that some stuff great. with her, yeah. Just so you know, a lot of people are commenting saying that uh, Amanda needs to be the next Broadway.com vlogger. Ayo! Just so you know, a lot, really? a lot of people. I did not, I did right not now. pay people to say that. No, I mean so your a text hashtag will pay you later. Amanda hashtag. Jane vlogger. This Ooh. is a oh. real thing. Uh oh. Um, well, we love a wicked vlog. Yeah. Tim you wants know. to know. <laughs> Tim wants to know what's your favorite. What are your favorite things to do in the city on your day off? Ooh, oh guys, one of my favorite places ever is Alice's Tea Cup. Oh yeah, you must. You can go. really girl out at Alice's Teacup. Oh, it's just so girly. I really feel like that is an activity that Glinda would love to in do full in New York. Costume too, but in full. Yeah, I wear my bubble dress. No, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but yes, it's a tea house. It's just lovely scones, it's very sweet and atmosphere. Yeah. So yeah, I love exploring, uh, exploring the city and uh, hanging with friends and seeing the sights. Um, Alec wants yeah. to know funniest onstage mishap. Uh -oh. Here we go, oh, guys. Uh, <laughs> there's so many. Uh, are there? No. I will say, guys. Okay, so the difference between the one big difference between the tour and and the, the Broadway the Broadway is there's this raked stage, which means the stage is on an incline. Sometimes I forget <laughs> that I'm on. A, I'm doing a musical on a hill, <laughs> and I just lose my center of gravity. But. Uh, I, there have been several times where I've just played it off as like a character choice where I just like trip downstage a little oh, bit. But yeah, if she's so, so funny that she can do anything. Yeah, 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 exactly. She's but not fully in control of herself. So right. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, she's a little whimsical. So. <clears throat> um, ba -ba -bound, ba -bound, da -da -da. <laughs> Justine, oh. how yeah. do you keep things fresh since you've been Glinda for so long? Ooh, uh, I always love to remain surprisable. Um, I also think with this role, you you must be present. You must be uh, open every and time. And it's a comic role, so I feel like yeah. you can really play with that comedy, especially in yeah. popular. Yeah. I forgot how funny it was. I saw it recently, mm. and I was laughing so much during popular. <laughs> I was like, oh, I forgot how funny this show is. Yeah, and also depending on the energy of the audience every night, it mm -hmm. really is a living organism, this show, every single day. It's different, so... Uh, and plus, I have such amazing scene partners, so right. you just lock right in. And can I just say, the Wicked fans yeah. are so crafty. Do you get good fan <gasps> like 
art and stuff yes, like that? The artisans, I am amazed. I mean, I've just been given just beautiful, like crocheted Glinda dolls with different outfits or uh, watercolors or like calligraphy and, and food. And, you know, I mean, yeah, it's You're going to have to have like a storage space when you're out of the show Truly. Just, for, just for the fan art. I honestly sort of already, <laughs> already do. I have boxes. <laughs> I have boxes of beautiful gifts. It's so. like a roving yeah. exhibition that you can have. Yeah. It's really sweet. And the last question. Yes. From Bill. Yes. What's your top bucket list role? Is Ooh. it Glinda? Ah! Uh, well, uh, it was. And, <laughs> and and now I'm so blessed to be doing it. Um, All right. So let's figure out the next one. Okay. What are the, what's the next one? We'll see. Um, I do have to say, you guys, if Princess and the Frog, you know that movie? Yeah. Wow. If oh, it, yeah. Listen. Wow. This is really good. Listen, this listen. Is good. If it ever becomes a musical. Yeah. And it will. Lottie. Yeah, I mean, that's... Charlotte. Yeah, I mean, that is perfect. Yeah, em like emotionally... You put it volatile, out there. Volatile, Southern it's Belle. It's just a matter of time now. Passionate, it, mascara, it all fits. powder. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I, yeah, I would love to originate. Um, I also love doing TV and film. I love storytelling, so whatever medium that is. Um, yeah, I just want to tell stories that bring hope and um, lead people to joy and... and Stories of redemption. Love that. So tell people where they can find you because you oh. are a delight on social media. Oh, you're so kind, Beth. <laughs> uh, well, you could go to Amanda Jane Coop. Leave off the ER. Coop was a, is Coop. a nickname sometimes. Coop. So yeah, Amanda Jane Coop, Twitter, Insta. And, and I have a Facebook thing too. You brought your boyfriend today. You guys, yes. Beth, thank you so much for allowing me to bring my bae on this show. Um, he's just been here the whole time, as you guys can see. Um, you know what? We have to supporting go. Supporting me. Go. So, oh, yeah. okay. Oh, we'll, hashtag, we'll later. We'll hashtag the bae series. The bae series. If you don't just, know what. Just check it out. Just check it out. <laughs> thank you so People much. People are going to be like, what? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> they no, won't no, no. think that. Amanda, yeah, yeah. thank <laughs> you for stopping by Live oh, at 5. You guys have a great weekend. And yes. Matt, will you take us out? Please. I would love Thanks, to. Ben. Thank you guys all for watching. You know that you can watch Live at 5 every single weekday at 5 p.m. here on Broadway.com's Facebook page. And if you want a different way to consume this show, we put out a podcast every single day right after Live at 5 that you can subscribe to called Live at 5, a daily Broadway podcast. And you should subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, that's, that's all we got for this week. Happy Friday, everyone. We'll see you on Monday. Bye.